Hello, welcome back to PyLib course week 2. So in this video, I will demonstrate on how to animate our objects in PyLib. Before I directly demonstrate on, I've already done some shapes and inserted some images. I don't think I need to explain all these things again. So what I've did is I've drawn one images, one is to represent in sky, one represents, uh, this one is rectangle, this represents C. And then I've inserted one board here and I've drawn one sun. So in this video, what we are going to do is we will animate this board where we will make this board move here and there. And then we will animate this sun where we will make this sun set somewhere here. So the logic is when we are animating any objects in a pilot, we just need to increase the x-axis. So if you want your board to move up, that means you just need to increase the y-axis. So if you want to move your board somewhere horizontally, then you need to increase x-axis. So now let's begin. So I've already inserted everything is ready, it's working perfect. So now let's animate a board. Okay, the first thing is uh, I want I want to move my board with the x axis so i will increase the x axis board dot x that means what this board dot x means is we are increasing the board x axis so for that board dot x plus one that means i'm increasing the board x axis by one now you see that our board is moving at a speed of one that means at a speed of one axis but then it does not stop here so we'll make this we'll put some condition here before that uh, i want to make sure that uh, it's always better that we declare a speed like a board speed equal to one and then we are declaring a board speed here and we need not have to manually type one here so we can just call this variable we can just use this variable it's same it's same okay it's same we can use but this makes our code dynamic now i want my board to return back when it reaches somewhere at the edge so just now it's not returning so how to do this you have to put some conditions like if board dot x is equal to like equal to maybe it's 640 i'm using the width of a canvas 640 and then I want my board to return back. So for that, initially I have used the board speed at one. That means it will always move forward. That means we are using a one and it will move forward by one. And if we want our board to move back, so we have to use, we have to make this speed negative. That means it should return back. So for that, I want to change this board speed to negative. So negative board speed so let's check oh, i got an error here unbound local error local variable board speed reference before assignment okay so what this error means is we are not able to access this board speed because we have used the board speed here it is getting within loop so for that we have to make it global so that we can use this board speed everywhere in a function so for that we have to use a global keyword global board speed so what mean by this line is what's mean by this line is we are making this board speed accessible to everywhere in the program so it will be now accessible in, inside this if conditions now no errors has been generated so we'll we'll wait whether our board comes back when it touches to 640, x axis 640. Yeah, it's returning back, but uh, it returns backward, not like it's not turning here. So I want my board to turn. So for that, we have to use a flip method. Board dot, we will flip this. It will flip the board. Let's check again. Yeah, it's flipping. That's perfect. But again, uh, I want to also put one condition where when my board reaches to somewhere here, I want to send it back. So for that, we can put another if condition. So if board.x is equal to equal to maybe 0. 
get some air zero. I want my board speed. I want to change the board speed uh, back to negative negative board speed and I will flip it again. Board dot flip. Okay. So Yeah, it's working here perfect now we are done with animating a boot so now we'll animate this sun where it should set diagonally the concept is same animating sun okay so for that uh, first thing is i will declare one sun speed here maybe yeah for that i will use one so sun dot x is equal to sun dot so i'm animating a sun let's see i want to call here Sun speed okay. Yeah, our sun is now moving in x direction, but then somewhere I want to move diagonally. So for that, uh, we have to also we have to decrease the sun y axis. So sun dot y is equal to sun dot y minus maybe I should give a little bit less. Now you will see that our sun sets diagonally yeah it's working perfect so now i want to include some conditions where i want to make my sun reappear so for that if uh, sun dot x which is uh, i want to bring sun to its original position so x x is to 80 and then sun dot y to 440 Let's check. Yeah, it's working fine. So that's all for this video. Uh, so if you have any doubt, please leave a comment and we'll see you in the next session.